Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, time for some more reverse stages. Uh, I'm really enjoying this content at the moment because it just gives me kind of something to truck on through with you guys and, and make sure I get done. Uh, let me just switch off my, my flux for you all uh, so you get the actual screen. Um, and yes, yeah, so let's jump into this. We're actually up to the final part of season one, uh, which is obviously Leona's castle. Uh, castle. There's quite a few here that we need to get through. So I think I'm just going to get stuck into it and we'll jump into it. So as always, we want to make sure we get uh, three stars. Um, and then you've got the green. So I think I'm just going to make everyone red, I think is the plan. Um, I don't know how well this is going to go. I might have to super awaken a couple of these guys um but i am also fortunate enough that i do have i oh, sorry super awaken just awaken is what i meant uh i do actually have gil thunder's holy relic bit of a quick flex there uh so this will be fun to just see it in action and get it to use so basically increases resistance and all that kind of stuff so i'm pretty confident i won't take too much damage so i'm gonna put tamio link on hauser instead uh and i think for this i'll just put um, a big, a big, um, yeah, uh, a decent alt. So, and then we're just going to jump in. So, hopefully we can, I think the goal here is just going to be to push ultimate, because she doesn't do anything about alt gauge, which is really helpful. So, I think here, I think the alt I probably want actually is maybe even Gil Thunders. So, I think we'll start with that. Rather than moving anything, we'll just... That wasn't bad. I got old Dreyfus. I keep forgetting he's the one that's got, um... The, uh... Oh, Patience, okay. And he's got the, the Awakening Stars, so that is helpful. Um, we're not taking too much damage, which is nice. So I'll just do... I mean, this ult might hurt a little bit, but if I just do this... 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 I'm slowly working towards ults on everyone, which is good. That's doing no damage, unfortunately, just because it is a AOE card. Alright, I keep forgetting to turn off my ults. Well, actually, that was a decentish chunk of damage. Or oh, level 3. Ouch, oh, my Dreyfus is, is taking those hits. Alright, um, so I'm going to do that. That should give me two ults, so that should be enough, I'm hoping, to just wipe straight through. I'm not going to be able to do any shock, but it should still do a little bit of damage. And then, now she needs to survive this. This is the one that I think is going to do, hopefully, a decent chunk of damage. I want to decrease the skill rings. Oh, survive, Dreyfus! Okay, just, just. Alright, so I think we do... Let's do that, that, that. I'm pretty confident that should. That should definitely kill, right? Surely. Maybe this one? Yeah, there we go. Okay, awesome. Gil Thunder's ult's the one you want there. Uh, single target, big, big damage. That's a sexy looking holy relic, if I do say so myself. Alrighty, uh, on to the next one. Um, which is, oh, uh, a bit more, so the Helbrum and stuff as well. Uh, what is the, okay, they're red and green, so I probably want the red ones on the team, I think, right? Like, that makes the most sense. Uh, let's use, increase strength allies attack attack-related stats by 10%. I think that's going to be the way to go. And then this is, uh, this increases... Our defense related yeah defense attributes by 60 percent so that's going to be really helpful so i think i'm gonna put i guess i put tamil link on my my weakest one which is red gill thunder i'm gonna put sario link obviously on jericho i'm gonna have and again just high high links right high alt links to increase cc and then I think we should be we should be pr pretty sweet with this one. We should be pretty sweet. Um, I'm pretty confident we can get through this one pretty quickly. Maybe not quickly, but pretty well, should I say? So who's the one that I probably want to get rid of first? 
There's going to be someone here that's like immune to something. Steals one orb. Okay, that's going to be annoying. Fills one orb. If the hero takes damage. Increases every debuff applied on the enemies. Steals one orb again. Okay. What have we got over here? Increases. Fills the order of taking. Steals one orb. Okay, so nothing too kind of crazy. So I think we're going to start with Deanne just because I want to get through her as fast as possible. Um, and I guess we just do that. That. So they're going to have to go after him if they've got non-AOEs, but I think they all have just AOE, which is just going to be fun. Um, well, that does petrify as well, actually, at level 2, and this does deplete alt gauge, so that's actually pretty helpful. So, yeah, it's going to be very hard to get alt here, uh, which is okay, but just as long as I can kind of do enough damage where... Let me just do that. Is that worth it? I don't know. I don't know if it is. I feel like I'm going to lose the old gauge there, so that might have been a silly thing to do, but that's okay. That was a big attack, actually. That was kind of worth it. That was a solid attack from him. Oh, Halbum coming in clutch. Yeah, there goes my old gauge. Okay, so I don't think moving cards is going to be worth it. I think it's just going to be, yeah, it just makes the most sense just to, just to smash our way through, I think. So if I do, let's do that, that, and that hopefully kills, and then we freeze, we petrify him. I think this is going to kill, if not, it's going to get rid of the, oh, yeah, perfect. All right. Uh, as you can see, I do have Helbrum's uh, Holy Relic as well, just for... Just for fun. I don't know, I got it because I've been working my way through all the holy relics, so. Um, chain explosion. Cool. Turn off alts again because I keep forgetting to do that. Um, Alright, and I think here what we can do is we can. I'm going to do that. And then petrify. I tell you, this red Halbrum is actually clutch. Like, I just keep getting rid of his ability to ult, which is very nice. Now I have ult, but I think we're gonna. Oh, oh, that's actually perfect. Now I get to ult. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna do that. In fact, I'm gonna do that last because if I can. If I can kill here, that means I take away alt gauge. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to. No, okay, that's okay. I'll still take away alt gauge. So that's fine. That's good. I don't have any Helbrum cards. That is a slight problem. <laughs> Helbrum is definitely the clutch, uh, the clutch one here. Okay, um, so I think we just yeet damage into him now as much as we can. Yeah, I just want to kill him as fast as possible. And then this should... This should... Yeah, perfect. And then now we're going to get our go back because they're not going to have a go. Perfect. And we heal back up. So I think what we'll do is... I'm going to taunt and then... Lightning Beast Chase. Shock them. Which is going to be a decent -ish, maybe shock. I will lose my alt gauge here though, but that's okay. Uh, but I'll be able to deplete her alt gauge as well. Oh, okay. Actually, she kind of just needs to die here because Jericho is very close to dying. Um, actually, if I can taunt though, that might save. That might save her. Life steal a little bit back. I'm hoping now with a taunt she's gonna like Gila's has to go for yeah perfect patience oh, oh I love that and I keep alt now as well because she patienced oh that's perfect okay I mean this this will kill but just in case it doesn't we do this and then that's it very nice very nice uh, that was that was actually quite an enjoyable one because I was kind of in control that whole time um, so that's nice 
Let's have a look. Uh, okay. On to the next one. Um, Helbrum, Gil Thunder, Dreyfus. Okay, same again. So what have we got? Blue, green, and blue. So I probably want the green versions of everyone. Um, so we'll switch across to the green. Like, as you guys can tell, this is kind of the, the game plan here, is to basically just make sure that you're either at type neutral or type advantage is pretty much what you always want to have happen. Um, <clears throat> let me... It's the poison. I don't even know if this is going to be the best option, actually, because we do now have two attack buffers, which is helpful, but we don't really have a lot of... You know, these are all supporting kind of heroes. So we'll see if we can do decent damage. If not, I might have to switch one of them out to maybe... There's a blue Gil Thunder, right? That makes the most sense. So let's do... That. I want to maximize damage, actually, so I'm going to save them, I think. And we'll do... Um, let's actually, let's go for... Let's let's kill the Hauser as let's kill the Hauser as quickly as possible. I think that's going to be the plan. Just get rid of the blue guys as fast as possible, and then we'll get then we'll get to the green ones because that means they get less attacks then, which is going to make it better for us. All right. Uh, so let's let's attack buff here. Let's do. Come on, this, this, and then this. So this increase all my attack and stats, obviously, so that's just going to be good. That was a pretty decent hit, actually. Pretty happy with that one. Oh, there's an attack disable. Oh, that's, that's fun. So, right, luckily we've got a couple of... We've got a poison card still. And then I'll get another set of cards. I'll get another little couple of cards here. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we're going to do that. Does that become... Yes, it becomes a debuff. Perfect. Disables buff and debuff skills. Brilliant. That's perfect timing because that looks like a gold attack disable from Gotha coming in, which uh, I don't really want to have to deal with. Okay. Yeah, we're still attack disabled. That's a two-turn attack disabled. That's um quite gross. Alright, we're surviving that pretty okay. But I would like to get okay, perfect. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind about that, because it means I get <laughs> no cards that are gonna do anything. Alright, cool. Um And I can't even push for alts either. I guess we'll just do that, that, and then. Uh, I don't really want to waste these cards, but I guess I'm kind of going to have to. That go through it. Go through is definitely the first one you guys want to get rid of because he is by far the most annoying, as you can tell. Is he gonna? Oh, my Dreyfus is taking damage. All right, so I'm gonna. Uh, I've got the attack buffs here, actually, so I think what we'll do is we'll do one attack buff, and then I'm just going to go straight for him. I wish I'd had an AoE, like a decent AoE, not Gil Thunders, because that would have been nice, too. Oh, so close as well. That's good. <laughs> Shima. Uh, that's good, but I'm hoping these ults don't hurt too much. Oh, Dreyfus. <laughs> Holding on by the skin of your teeth. Oh gosh, okay. Okay. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Alright. I'm gonna go attack buff, and then I've got to just go straight in on. Actually, let's do. Let's do this, and then hopefully this kills, but if it doesn't, then I'll have to use that attack as well. So we've got the double stack boost. Oh, perfect, okay. That's actually exactly what we wanted to have happen. Hopefully life steals back a little bit. Yeah, not enough. That's so scary. Yeah, I think he's going to die here. So I think if you just have a slightly stronger Dreyfus, or like get maybe 
I think just basically you've got to kill Gotha first. Like that's the whole thing is you need to kill Gotha first. Um, otherwise you're just in trouble because that attack seal really hurt me there. Um, because now she's got. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I think we're just, we won't even be able to finish this off, to be honest. Um, I'm not even sure. Let's do that. Let's do that. In fact, Deanne's probably the one you want to kill first, because she's the one that gets rid of Alt Gauge. Oh, that actually did a decent chunk of damage. If we don't kill here, we might just have to keep going. Oh, I think we're dead here. Uh, maybe not. I think we are, actually. Let's do... That's that. Lightning. So this one's definitely harder. Yeah, okay, all right, we, we, we jump out of this one. We jump out of this one, we try that again. So I think what we do, it's this one, isn't it? Is there, there is a blue gill thunder. I'm concerned about that one though. I don't think. No, why would I go blue? That's silly. Red. Again, that's a. Like, I could maybe go this red one. But then he's at type disadvantage. Let's let's try it. And let's try it with this. Let's try this setup, because this is gonna be. I think we just go straight for Deanne first, and then we can fill up Ultimate Gauge. Um, and I think that's going to be the way to do it. So hopefully you guys have most of these units, obviously. I'm going off the bat, you kind of do need these ones. Let's see how we go with this. We've got green, and then we've got red. So I think Deanne's going to be the first to go. I'm not... I mean, the, the attack disable is annoying, but being able to push alts, I think, is going to be key here. So if we do... If I just do, the thing is with, um, with Helbrim, with Red Helbrim, is that we do kind of want, um, that was actually okay, we do want your yeah, second Helbrim card, this is the thing, because we want to be able to take away all, like a decent chunk of health and then not gauge as well, and then ideally we'd like to be able to petrify as well. That's kind of the dream. So here I'm just going to go this, this, and then I'm going to do that. It's a bit of a waste of an ult depletion card, but I'm hoping with the amount of damage it does. It does a decent... Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to have happen. That was a beautiful big chunk of damage. So I can do that again. So I think what I could probably do actually... Okay, didn't attack to say, well, that's nice. Oh, I lost my my fog wave card. It's okay, hopefully we get... That'll do, that'll work. Um, so I'm just going to do... And then that, I'm, I'm pretty confident that's going to kill. And then we disable debuff skills of everyone. Perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what we needed. Perfect. And then he can't de de debuff to save him. Okay, I think this is definitely going to be the team you guys want to run instead. This is definitely a lot more a lot more potent. Um, and I'm going to have ult for Dreyfus, which may not be the one that you want, but it could be worse. Can't even remember what this one does. What is this? Okay, no, that's not bad. That's not bad. I thought I disabled his debuffs. Oh, that was last turn. Oh, he took away my ult gauge anyway. Perfect. Perfect. Oy vey. Okay. Oh, that was exciting. Don't... What in the world is that? Okay. So, Gotha might be your, uh, <laughs> your pick there to get rid of. So now I've got ult. How many Dreyfus cards do I need to get? Like, it's like the... Just give me some Helbrum cards. Oh. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, good. I'm just going to do this because he's so annoying. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to get rid of that card. I'm hoping this gives me a little bit of lifesteal back as well. Yeah, see ya. 343. Okay, not a lot. And getting a... You might need to buff up your green Dreyfus. Yeah, you might need to you might need to awaken your your green Dreyf your Dreyfus. If I'd just gotten any other hero cards apart from him, we would have been totally fine. But that's okay. It is what it is. This increases my attack. I think we will. Oh, I'm not doing enough. We'll probably stop after this one, and then we'll move on to the next one. And I'm gonna do. Confident this should do enough, I'm hoping. Yeah, okay, done. Alright, so that's what, halfway through? Um, halfway through the Honest Castle. So we'll keep going uh, in the next video, but hopefully that makes sense, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying this. Uh, and as always, we'll see you for the next half. Catch you in the next one.